Hey guys, this is Nate, and I'm coming at you with another Lego Star Wars review. Um, I'm doing the 2011 Battle Pack. Um, sorry about this, but I do not have the box or do not know the name right now. But um, I guess that's no use to you. Let me look it up. You guys keep watching. Alright, so first off, we have a very brand new Bomb Squad Trooper. Let's get this camera to focus. Cookies. I get. Kind of see him there. Alright. So he's got like this diamond pattern, which is really, really cool. And he's got legs, which have this really new kind of logo thing on, um, like detail. Um, and then what's really cool is that this helmet is all orange. It's an orange helmet. So it's really cool. And that's just white and black paint. Um, I lost my other guy. His head broke, so I could not bring him in to this <coughs> review. All right. Next up, we have this brand new Arf Trooper. He is the very first of his kind, and um, he looks really stupendous. Yes, um, the helmet's really cool. It's got lots of details. It's got that wave. Got all those green markings. Um, got set repeat. Got that. Um, he's got a plain regular phase one armor. Nothing too special about him. And now we have an Eth Koth trooper. He is, um, he comes with these two all new, brand new pistols. Sorry about the camera. Uh, yeah, there. So, the pistols, as you can see, kind of cool. They look it would probably look better on a on solo, but um, they're good. I like them. Best Lego has done yet. Remember, I did say yet. Um, it's got these. Uh, the helmet's very very detailed. Got those markings. It's got that marking. It's got the air vents. Um, that's all for the helmet though. Yeah, the very detailed on the front. Though it does have some hiccups in that cheek part. When you, if you get the, if you get the sight, you'll be able to see. Alright, um, I got that. I don't know if this camera can capture that, but there's like a circle with, uh, what is that? Yeah, kind of like a circle with two dots. Uh, it's got a green and this really cool new pant style. So, um, there you go. And you have your brand new East Cop Trooper. And then, now let's get on to the set. Okay. Alright, guys. I modified this just a tiny bit with some Sharpie. It's kind of cool, um, so don't be worried that, oh my god, my sister's going to come like this, it's going to have all these weird markings, I don't want those weird markings, wah, 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 so, uh, don't, I doubt you guys ever do that, um, yes, I did lose the other black piece, um, well, no, I'm just using it on my I'm just using it on something, so um, place it with this.
Alright, now we've got the harpoon gun. We've got these, um, I guess, kind of windbreakers or something. You've got them on the front again. You've got your really cool, I mean, not really cool, but they're kind of cool how like you made them. Um, blasters. Alright. So the Eath Cough Trooper goes in. And it goes in the Bark Speeder. And uh, there's only one problem. Where do you put the weapons? Alright. So first off, I am going to take off the yellow piece. Like that. Gonna lean my trooper back in there. Gonna like that, and then I'm gonna. Oops. Go on, get in there. Yes. So then I'm gonna put in the on camera focus. Uh, you see, it's not the best image, but it's an image. Um. So then I take his other hand and give it a pistol. One pistol. Only one. Then I take the other pistol and there are two harpoon guns. And then you take one harpoon gun out and add the other pistol. There. So um that's kind of a way to mod your Bark speeder, which is what it was called, and um, it's eleven ninety nine. Last year the battle pack was ten ninety nine. Seems like it's going up. <coughs> if you want to buy it, I suggest you buy it at like Walmart or something, because they have they're always like at, at up to five dollars off the original price. So it, Walmart's a good place to buy. Um, and as I said, it comes with two bomb squad troopers. I'm just, I can't use mine right now. Um, <coughs> sorry, I uh, just woke up. Um, so I'll let you guys look at these guys. I'll let you guys look at them. Helmets while I find out the name. So, um, it is a 2011. Lego Star Wars Battle Pack set. Um, Um, let's see, that's introduced. Let's go. All the way down. <coughs> I'm a good place to buy all of, I mean, a good place to find out what's coming out is, um, Wikipedia. And so, it's always good to find all about Legos. Um, oh, come on. It's all this stupid ninja, Ninjago stuff. I hate it. Just hate it. Alright. Uh, so, Star Wars is always at the bottom. <coughs> there we go. Alright, it's just called the Clone Trooper Battle Pack, 7, 9, 13, and it is, it 
Ages 6 to 12, 85 pieces. So not worth the price. So not worth it. Um, I'm going to get a picture of the box. This is a set. I don't have the box. Um, Alright, it's loading, so I'm going to go get something real quick. So, do I have the picture? Yes, I do. Stupid. Bad iPod, bad. Zoom out. Alright. I'll show you a little part of it. Uh, there. It won't really focus much, but that's part of the box. And now, as you can see, these, um, as I told you in my e-log, uh, this is, let's see, there you go, that's my 212th trooper so far without the helmet or the any of the markings. Um, I will. I will not be putting any little arm shop weapons onto him, unless I am selling these two mini figures that are super rare, and I, they should be selling for fifty dollars each. But I'm giving you. I'm giving you all a deal. Twenty dollars each, and so I'm going to ask you guys to email me if you want them, and um, I'll say sure, and then I'll take them. And then in my e-log, I'll say, "Hey guys, this is sold out, but I've only got two, two of them. They're selling super fast. They will sell super fast. There's only two, and it's." This super rare skeleton from the Indiana Jones, from an Indiana Jones part, and he does have a pirate sword. I'll give it to him. And then it's this other guy from the Indiana Jones set. He does have different hands. Don't worry, I'll give him to you. And now he's got a dual face, but he, so he's probably. He's probably gonna run for twenty-two dollars, whereas he should run for fifty-five dollars. So, guys, this is a huge deal, and he also comes with hair. This is a huge deal. <coughs> it's probably the best deal. So, if you want your guys to come with little arm shop weapons, um, I suggest you email me, and I'll put them on hold. And um. Thanks for watching, and hope you guys have a good day, weekend, whatever, break, I'll, whatever you're watching this, hope you have a good time. Alright, bye.